2013. Wow, man. What a year. This has been by far the best year of my life. Definitely not without the challenges, though. I don't even have a house. I just live on the road. I've been given the opportunity to travel the whole world again. I've had the privilege of putting smiles on countless people's faces. It's been a crazy year. Man, I've been so put down by God's people who are so immature and they just don't understand His ways or His heart. I've eaten so much cheese. I've got to ride in first class plane seats. I've had the chance to meet and hang out with good people, just normal, healthy, happy people, only to find out later that they tragically died. I've had a chance to stay in five star hotels all around the world. I've been interviewed like crazy and I've interviewed other famous musicians myself. I've seen my daughter's life change for the better right before my eyes. I even dressed up like an ugly, ugly woman. I got a chance to play with some of the best rock bands on the planet. I gotta tell you guys though, man, none of that stuff I just mentioned can compare to just being filled with love. I just, I've been so filled with love this year that I just feel completely love drunk. You guys know that lovesick feeling where you can't stop thinking about that certain person. All you feel is bliss, euphoria, paradise, butterflies. I swear you guys, this feeling has never been this intense for me. There's an intimacy that I tapped into with Jesus this year that I had no idea was possible. And it's available to everyone, but only if you want it. The fact is, you guys, the Bible is a love story. I'm not speaking religious. Jesus Christ is the lover of every human being's soul. You know what Jesus loves our souls? He loves our souls kind of like a husband loves his bride and her naked body on their honeymoon night. He's that passionate. This is a fact. Look, whether you believe it or not, it is a fact. You can accept this love or you can reject it. It's your choice. Jesus died for us so we can experience a measure of this paradise now. And even more so when we die, but we get a little taste right now. I will say it again, no matter what anybody believes or says, this is a hundred percent fact. You can take it to the bank, but it's your choice. Just say it with me, you guys. Jesus, I don't know what this is all about, but I know head wouldn't lie to me. Show me that these angels are real. Show me that your spirit is real. Show me that you are really God. I want to know the truth. Show me the way. Amen. We are as close to Jesus as to paradise heaven as we want to be man when we all pass from this earth the biggest regret for the human race is going to be that we didn't draw closer to jesus to the angels to paradise to heaven even as we lived on the earth because it's available to us the whole time it's available to us right now we can encounter it we can enter into it we just didn't believe it you guys before i go i just want to say man i've done everything this world has to offer i've experienced it and if i were to leave you one piece of advice before i go i would just say don't waste another minute i love you guys